It's one of the toughest jobs in football. An expectant country, a critical media, and an unforgiving public. When Philip Troussier became national coach of Japan, no one said it would be easy. Japan needed a coach with passion and courage. It was a challenge, but I really think I've risen to it. Even with pressure from the media, I'm at ease with my ideas. And the Federation is confident and happy with my work. I'm very happy to be here. And he's been growing happier by the day. Troussier was recently honoured with the award for AFC Coach of the Year. But easy? It's been about as easy as eating a baguette with chopsticks. 1998, and Japan did go to France. Nakata, safe, and go! They inched in and were forced out after just three matches. They returned home with just a single goal to their name. With Japan and neighbours South Korea due to co-host the next World Cup, it was time for a change. Exit Takeshi Okada, enter Philip Trussier. And Monsieur Trussier could see clearly the challenge that lay ahead. Japanese football has already made its mark. The crowd at the Asian Cup was an indication of how fast things have moved forward. Five years ago, we decided to go out and start playing the best teams in the world. It's been a difficult path. We've come up against some fine players, but it has helped to build confidence. Trussier's confidence grew quickly. One of his first achievements was in 1999. He took the Japan under-20s all the way through to the final of the FIFA World Youth Championship in Nigeria. The following year, he went on to take a maturing squad to the quarterfinals of the Sydney Olympics. And that team would form a core part of the squad for the upcoming 2002 World Cup. <laughs> but what had been driving all this success? Trussier's fiery French temper is notorious. It's a sign of the passion which he's continually trying to inspire in his players. Pathetic, weak, boring, spineless, soft. Those are just some of the words Football Asia overheard Trussier using to describe his players during this training session. So how does a group of Japanese men react to being called girls? We call Trussier the red devil because he can get very angry very easily. But there's always a reason for his screaming, and I understand what he's trying to say. I've learned a lot from him, and I enjoy playing for him. This was the price we had to pay for the development of Japanese football, and it was the price we had to pay for players to develop new confidence, and it was the price we had to pay for the Japanese to create a new identity. It's something we had to go through. It was necessary for us to develop Japanese football and to prepare ourselves fully for the World Cup. But here is the dangerous Nakamura. Lovely shape on it, and we have a goal. It was this tough approach that earned Japanese football its first real taste of glory in almost 10 years. At Lebanon 2000, Japan lifted the Asian Cup once again. Trussier's young squad was finally coming of age. Technically and tactically, they outshone every other team on the continent. By the final, they'd become a world-class unit. Trussier's boys had become men. It was a great experience. It was the logical outcome of a policy that had been followed for 10 years, particularly since the creation of the J-League. I think the J-League contributed towards the development of Japanese football. It allowed us to accelerate the process. And it was a part of the story of the Japanese heritage. And it was a great experience for everybody there. But it's still not a finished product. Just last month, the Japanese were humiliated by Trussier's countrymen, reigning world champions France. Five goals prompted an unsympathetic Japanese media to ask one question. Do they have what it takes? But Trussier can do it, can't he? After all, he has a trophy which says he's the best coach in Asia. Sadly for him, that's not the trophy the Japanese public are interested in. Yeah,
Even if the Japanese are considered outsiders, they must be allowed to dream and be prepared to fight for the greatest trophy in the world. With the World Cup in our home country, we'll have an advantage. We'll have stadia full of fans cheering for us. Who knows, maybe home support will help in some way.